is a little different or 
wanted straight teeth like everyone else, but once I got over that, I really did not want braces because I just don't think I could handle two years of like pain or, you know, just having something in my mouth, you know, because I hate getting root canals. I hate, uh, even like routine teeth cleaning, anything to do with my mouth. I just, I really don't like. So fast forward to about like half a year ago after I get my wisdom teeth out, um, every single dentist that I have been to has been like, you should get braces. And not because of a cosmetic reason. Um, they said because my teeth are so overcrowded, especially my bottom teeth, that I am not brushing or flossing well enough to make up for the overcrowding because there are some crevices that floss will just not be able to reach because of the overcrowding. And to that, like, that's why I get cavities so often and potentially in the future, in the near future, all of these teeth will start to rot from the inside out, basically. And I would have to get them all taken out, like, with either root canals or getting them pulled out or whatever. And my dentists, all of them, had said that that is, like, a very painful process and extremely difficult and expensive. So they recommended me to just get braces, deal with it for two years, get my teeth straightened out, and then that way I could clean them properly. So that is really what pushed me over the edge to get braces. Um, do I, like, I mean, do I mind having straighter teeth? No, I think, like, I like my teeth the way they are now, but I also don't mind if they were straight either. So I'm kind of like ambivalent without the word. No, just kind of neutral about the way my teeth look. Um, and for me, this is definitely more of a medical decision than a cosmetic one. But of course, my teeth will get straightened in the process, so why not, right? So um, instead of traditional braces, I wanted to do Invisalign, partly because I am a college student and I just, I already look so young. I felt like if I had braces, I would just look even younger. And um, I just didn't really want that. Also, uh, the technology with Invisalign has gotten better and better and they can get the same results with Invisalign at a, in about the same time frame as regular braces anyways. So um, I, that's kind of why I wanted to go with Invisalign. So I literally googled Invisalign dentist in New York and that's how I found my dentist, which is Manhattan Orthodontics. I'll like try to link their website down below or something in case any of you who live in the New York, New Jersey area are thinking of Invisalign. Um, it's a great place in Chinatown and my dent or my orthodontist graduated from NYU Dental and did Columbia Dental as well, something like that. Um, and she was really friendly. She was very informative and I told her my main concern was I did not want to pull any more teeth. Um, that is just something I did not want to do again. I didn't want to go under and get teeth pulled. So I was like, if at all possible, can we just space them out? So she did a 3D scan. She did like a consultation and she was like, it looks like we can. So I was like, great, then let's do it. Like, just where do I sign? <laughs> so yeah, my parents also agreed to it, of course, because uh, there's no way I'm, I can pay for this myself. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna really go into cost of how much it is because that really determines on your dental insurance and where you go and things like that. So I'll just link their website down below if you want to go check them out, but there are tons of other dentists and orthodontics, orthodontists <laughs> that do Invisalign. So yeah, sometimes uh, I actually think my lisp is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, if I try really hard to enun enunciate my words, I think you can't even tell that I have Invisalign, but when I get lazy, sometimes I'll just have a little bit of a lisp because, uh, because there is like a barrier and your tongue's just not used to talking like this, so that's probably why. Um, also my hair's wet because I just took a shower. It's not because I'm sweaty or anything, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so that is pretty much my update for why I've been gone. And now I'm back, and I can't guarantee that it'll be the same upload schedule as before, because now we are getting into finals season, and I just have a ton of papers to write in the next three weeks, so we'll see how consistent I can be, but I hope I will be more consistent. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things, though, that I have purchased um, that have to do with, like, winter and things like that. So 
or they just don't fit right. So that's been a struggle for me. <gasps> Sorry. For like ever. And um, I've been trying to find sweaters that fit for a really long time. And I fortunately have found a couple that really do fit me well. So I'm actually thinking of doing maybe like a winter lookbook. Because I know I did like an autumn favorites video. But I think this next one I'll try to like um, do it like my try them on and do like a voiceover because I think you guys really enjoyed that so I will try to do that with like winter clothes but I thought I'd just show you guys a couple of my favorites now um, so this first one is actually brand new with tags on and it's from Hollister and um, I bought this kind of with the purpose of going to a holiday party that my friend is hosting it's an ugly Christmas sweater party so, although this isn't super, like, out there, um, I'm still not sure if I want to buy a separate ugly Christmas sweater or not yet. Um, I might just go to Goodwill and see if I can get something cheap, but if not, then I'll just end up wearing this because, you know, it's definitely festive enough, but it's not necessarily ugly. Well, you might think it's ugly, but, um, I like it. It's nice and festive, and I am going to Tahoe for Christmas with my best friend and his family, and I feel like this sweater is like so Tahoe. Is that weird? Like, I just feel like this is like what I think of, of like skiing in Tahoe and sitting by the fireside. I want to wear this. <laughs> so, this is in an extra small. And it was original, yeah, it was $42.95. Uh, kind of a, a rain 
one is much more heavy, like it's heavier and it lays down more so it really streamlined my body and I just really like the fabric um, and the way it looks on me so this is another great piece and again it was like about $70 and like for me to be honest it was totally worth it because when I tried this on I really wanted to hate it that's how I am always when it's like an expensive piece I'm always like well let me try it on and I hope it looks ugly so that way I don't buy it but I tried these on and they just looked really good like just and that sounds conceited I'm not trying to be conceited it's just they looked good on me and you know we all want to wear clothes that make us look the best version of us I guess so anyways uh really really like these two sweaters next up I'll show you guys some sunglasses that I recently purchased so unfortunately I lost my Ray-Bans and I want to kick myself for that because I told myself when I bought them that I would take care of them, that I wouldn't scratch them, that I wouldn't lose them, and I was such a good girl until one tournament and I think, I think I left them in the trunk of the car, of our rental car, because I was moving around things in my bag and I feel like they fell out. And I'm so gutted because those were like my favorite pair of sunglasses ever. They were my first pair of expensive sunglasses. And I got them for six months and then I lost them. And as punishment for myself, I am not allowing myself to buy any expensive sunglasses until I'm like 26, I swear. Because Ray-Bans might not be expensive to some people, but for me, for an accessory, it is a little expensive. And... Anyways, so I ended up buying two pairs from Forever 21 that cost me like $15 for both of them. And those are now my sunglasses that I wear. So the first pair are these. They're a nice tortoise shell type print. And they're kind of like that cyan, cyan color, like the kind of reddish brown color. And this is what they look like. And I actually think these look good. Um, and they're kind of nice and heavy, so they feel very good quality to me, which is nice because they were only like $5.50. So these are the first pair I got. And I do like this sort of brown shade for more casual looks. Um, and then for a more kind of like a formal pair, I got 
so I decided to just pick it up and I'm gonna add it to this necklace and just kind of wear them together um, but I need to actually uh, take this jump ring out and then put it on here somehow because it won't fit over like the backing of this but I can do that easily with my own pliers and stuff so got this tiny little charm I don't think it'll make any good sounds because it's too small but they gave it to me in this nice little bag and that is the only thing that I got at the market yesterday okay um, I'm trying to think of like other things I can tell you guys about uh, okay well I'll just show you guys some food things that I got recently so the first thing is this Pocky Matcha with like chocolate which is a Korean, Korean or Japanese uh, supermarket here in Manhattan. So you can get these there. And I love matcha and these just look so gourmet that I had to try them. And so it opens like this and I only have one packet left.
actually had one and these are really good so again hard to snack with these in the last snack item is some candy I went to It's Sugar because there's one right near campus and I couldn't help myself and I just really wanted some sour candy and yeah so I got some ribbon belt candy um, some sour apples some sour patch watermelon, some jumbo sour patch kits, and some sour cherries. So my bag was probably up to here when I originally got it, and then I've just kind of been eating a little bit each day. But again, with the Invisalign, you're really not supposed to eat a lot of sugar as well, because that's just extra risk for uh, cavities and things like that. actually just found today and um, I forgot to put these in my calendar um, and now it's a little too late but I don't know if I showed you guys these stickers that I got for Halloween you can see I might have shown you guys these already but um, I just found these in my drawer and I was like oops I forgot to put these in my binder Basically, just stay tuned for a winter clothing.